one and all, I'm Eki Thump and welcome back to Let's Play Empyrean Galactic Survival. As you can see, I've done a bit of work off screen, liberating some more stuff from the uh, drone base. We've now got another 1200 or so combat steel blocks. Um, I had a thought about where I could get some um, some farm plots to put on the spaceship. Because uh, we could have a bit of trouble producing them ourselves, but one thing we could try and do is actually nick them from the farm POI that's on this planet. So let's go back to base first of all and put some stuff away in the boxes. Uh, I've never tried to take over a neutral POI. I don't know if there's any restrictions on it, but it's not... I know you can't uh, you can't destroy blocks at the trade center, but I'm assuming you can at the neutral places. Ideally I want to actually like nick whole blocks and not just break it down into components, so I'm going to have to see if I can put my own core down somewhere. I'll just drop some stuff off, because I need to get some oxygen, Jesus. This suit does last a while. We're nearly out. Uh, let's just drop a few things off here. Oh. That I can go in there as well. Alright, get some oxygen. Oops, the base is out of O2. Some food, any food? Ah yeah, chips. Right, I've got something I can destroy the existing core with. Let's put these... So the ventilators I want to hang on to. I'll probably get some O2 uh, tanks from the drone base as well. Uh, possibly some fuel tanks. All these deco consoles and stuff, really I don't need those. But whatever, let's just put away everything I don't need and we'll pick it back up before we go to space anyway. Computers and electronics. Alright, let's head over to the farm and see if we can work out a way to steal their farm blocks. The only thing is, we might end up having to fight the uh, the cyborgs that are on patrol there. So, where's that farm? It was... here we are, just past the Hongo. Right, here we are. Let me turn my lights on because it's a bit dark out here. Now, first question is going to be... Let's just test it on this random block outside. Can I use my disassembler without doing anything else. No. Uh, I need to find the core then and blow it up and basically conquer this place for myself. If I can. So, where is the core going to be? All those farm blocks in there, I want them. I want all of them. But, uh, it's going to be tricky to find out. I don't suppose it's in this utility shack somewhere, is it? I 
It is not, no. Unfortunately, that probably means it's hidden somewhere. So I'm going to might have to invest some explosives into finding it. Ow. Right, oh, let's go back to the HV then. Uh, other thing we can try is aiming for the core with the turrets. Oh, the turrets won't even lock onto this place. That's a damn shame. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to claim those then. So that leaves me with the question of how am I going to produce enough grow plots. Maybe I'll get lucky because we do have quite a bunch of spoiled food back in the fridges. So, grow plots, what did they cost? Uh, we can make up a steel that uses cobalt. We've got plenty of cobalt alloy, but I don't think we have enough cobalt alloy. Well, we've got plenty of ore, so we should, yeah, we should be able to do it. Uh, God damn it, plant fibres. Um, they're back and they're annoying because they require wood logs. Uh, tell me, tell me the HP harvesting stuff is still in the game. Please tell me that. Um, yeah, here we go. So this will let us chop down trees using our HP, which is much better than running around trying to do it with that goddamn biofuel-powered chainsaw. So we'll get ourselves one of those. And a harvester box, which is where the materials go to. So we'll have to just engineer that onto the ship outside. Uh, let's see then. How many plant fibers am I going to need? That's 20 plant fibres per log. So... Not bad actually, 5 grow plots per 1 log. Although we should over harvest them quite substantially since we do need the logs to make weapons now, to make um, bullets now apparently. You can probably still get plant fibres from picking actual uh, fibre plants out there in the world. Shit, where am I going to put the bloody... Do you know what? I don't even need these Gatling guns. I'm going to deconstruct them. Steel blocks. More. One more. Like that. There we are. That just makes a place so I can put this harvester on. And we'll just get that collection box in as well. Uh, let's twist that round. Let's do it with the fucking drone, it's easier. This doesn't have to be right next to the harvester, but it might as well be.
Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I put this on the wrong way around. Uh, return intact block. Now, sadly, I don't think I can centre this because the ship seems to be. Yeah, you can see at the back there. Uh, the ship is an even number of blocks wide, and the harvester is uh, an odd number of blocks wide. It's five wide. So it will always be off-centre, unless we take the time and effort to put two harvesters on here for some reason. But we need the blades facing outwards regardless. Just spoil the look of it a bit. But I am not chopping down trees with a chainsaw. Right, well, let's get on with it. So basically we've got the harvester equipped. It's, it works as if it's a weapon, so you just press fire. Start blade spinning. Edge up to a tree, and when it's leaves start doing that, you're in contact. Then you just wait for the tree to uh, disappear, and the wood logs go into the harvester module box. Sometimes it's kind of deceptive how high you're actually hovering. You, you are three meters off the ground, so sometimes you're a bit higher than. Alright, 107, that's a good start. Let's take these back to base and chuck them in the processor. Get ourselves. Uh, so, let's say. Ooh, six. Areas? No, it's going to be at least eight, isn't it? How many different types of crops are we actually ever going to want to grow? So the basic four, at the very least. Uh, should we say we we'll leave room for maybe another couple of plots on the same level and another couple below? So six, twelve times nine, ninety, hundred eighteen. 118 grow plots is uh, our target, I think. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, I've got to get, got to get the logs out of the harvest module. So they're all going to hear this cargo box harvest. 107 wood logs waiting for me. Uh, what are we missing now? Nutrient solution. Need more spoiled food, aren't we? It's okay, we can make a decent start anyway. We should have enough to grow the ones we need. We only actually need 36 grow plots for the basics. Um, and we've got 36 spoiled food there at least. Now then, we're going to need to produce some more power packs, because I think I'm out of them, unless there's some hiding in here. Oh, we've got some basic fuel packs and these fusion ones we found, but basically, yeah, we're out of them. Uh, let's do some large ones. Where are they? There we are. Of those. Did I ever put that hydrogen thing down? Oh, I did.
right, so we'll put these in the generating devices down here. Keep the hydrogen and oxygen coming. So we've got the means to make fusion cells now. I don't know if I ever properly compared the two. Let's have a look at them. So here are the fusion cells. They're worth 300 fuels and the large packs are worth 150. Now these fusion cells take 50 pellets. Um, yeah, it looks like the fusion cells are just straight up better. The fuel packs and the large packs are roughly equivalent, although these are kind of more compact. You get more fuel per item slot. Uh, and then the fusion cells are just double the fuel value of these. Some energy spent on producing the hydrogen. But I doubt it's that inefficient. So I think from now on we'll, pr we'll be producing uh, fusion cells. food here. I, mean, I need uh, some more stuff that I can let go off. So let's harvest all these. Stick these in the food uh, processing unit and let them go off. Probably been doing this for a while. All the Durians. Let's go back into torch mode. It's easier to spot them that way. Got everything. Got everything. Go in there and start to uh, mulching, I suppose you could think of it. Gonna need more stone dust, I think, as well. So, we're producing power, we're producing stone dust, we've got nutrient solutions coming. Uh, what else do we need up there at the moment? Lights wouldn't go amiss, but... Oh, uh, grow lights. <coughs> How many grow lights? So... Not that many. Uh, Twelve will do it, even for our most ambitious project, I think. Six, yeah, twelve. Uh, could do with... Couple more elevators, probably. Oh, and more windows. I'm nearly out of armoured windows, I think. Right, this is going to take a while, so we've got our th thousand plus blocks of combat steel here, so let's go and uh, do a bit more work on the frame of the ship while we wait. At some point we've got to go to the moon and get some of that uh, some of that lovely pentaxid so we can actually leave this system. So we can actually go and park on the... Come on. Yeah, here we are. We can actually go and park in the hangar bay at the moment. It's very dark in here. That's why we need the lights. Oh, God damn it, that artificial gravity thing as well. I mustn't forget that before I try and go to the next system. Right, 
Let's get out there then. So we had a little bit of a hole left to plug on top of the hangar bay. Oh, jeez. Just torch mode, please. And yeah, we've got to do a bit of work over here. So, how wide does this need to be? a little bit further. Is that centered? Yes. So how wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Including the middle one. Let's go another Can't even stretch the, the painter that wide. Um, better question: How many blocks wider than the front is it? Is it just the one? Yeah, it's just the one, isn't it? Is it? Or are they the same width? I can't actually tell now. Uh, no, they're the same width. Right, that's the size of what's going to be kind of the farming etc area. Uh, we've got the double thick kind of framework here because we need the extra space away from the walls. Let's see if we've measured this correctly. So we need one, two, three blocks, and then a gap, and then one, two, three blocks. Uh, no, it's gone one, two wide. Fucker. It's one wider than it needs to be. Um, One, two, three, gap. One, two, three. Uh, fine. I guess we'll move it in closer and save some blocks. Uh, so, extra layer here. There we are. One, two, three, space. One, two, three. One, two, three, space. One, two, three. Space, one, two, three, and we end there. So this is the area we've got set aside for farming, and it's on two levels. Let's bring that across. And here. Whoa. Uh, this will fill in. I'm not sure what's, what the means is going to be to get between the two levels just yet. We'll figure it out. Probably just stick an elevator in, or maybe just some stairs to be honest. Same here again, so more farms. One, two, three. Wait. Oh, I mean. Want the walkway around the side as well. I might just want to put another layer of blocks below this as well. Because um, otherwise, the farm plots are going to be kind of sticking their asses out into space there. They'll be vulnerable to getting shots, etc. So we'll fill in the floor, and then I'll have to put another layer of cladding on below, I think. There it goes, and we've got six left. So I might want to do this, uh, these walls in armoured windows. I think I'd, I'll definitely want to put some doors over here. door here and a door here. Right, so um, this 
part is going to have its own ventilation and O2 system. We know that for a fact. It's going to be guns on here, guns on there. Uh, some side chambers. So another thousand blocks ought to do it for the outside indeed. Um, got a bit of time left I think. Yeah, a little bit of time. Let's uh, let, let's go and get those grow plots. Get the first load of them in. Where is... Where's the small vessel gone? Oh, it's in the fucking hangar bay, isn't it? This area is not oxygenated, is it? It shouldn't be. Well, let's see. No, no oxygen. And the ship itself has O2, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. The ship itself has O2. Yes, it does. It's just not oxygenating this part because there's uh, well, there's either no airtight connection or there's an airtight door between areas. Either way, let's head back to Omicron. Jesus Christ, are you still going through that? Um... Yeah, of course, because it paused while we were in space. Okie dokie, so we've got 45... Oh look, I've actually got 100 more combat steel here. Could have used that, we'll use it next time. Uh, nutrient solutions... So, ooh, we could make some... No, actually, I think the wood is kind of valuable at the moment, just because it's such an arse ache to get. Uh, we could also make some cement ones, though. They are airtight. Yeah, I really can't justify spending cobalt alloy when I can spend cement instead, can I? Let's make these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Uh, 18, that's two sets. 27. 36. That's the four minimum ones. Right, so, 36 concrete blow, uh, blow plots, grow plots. Uh, what else was I going to do on the windows? Ah yes, oxygen tanks. Um, I will sort those out next time. Let's go and put these farm plots down. Right, uh, here we are. This shouldn't take long, as long as I can actually find the CV again. Here we are. Right on. We're going to have to find somewhere to mount the grow lights, but that should be easy enough. Why can I not? Right. I can only put these down on a base, apparently. Yes. Um. Yep, we've made the wrong ones. Uh, let me just have a quick look on the item menu. They have to be steel to be placed on a CV. Great. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take these back to Omicron um, next time. We'll break them down for components, hopefully get the nutrients back, and uh, remake them into steel once then. Bugger. Oh well, anyway, um, that ought to do it for this episode of Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, do hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Eki Thump, and I'll see you next time.